Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. Happy Black Friday. Are you as overwhelmed as I am? I am just like, I think everything is on sale right now, which that's good. I was thinking this morning, you know, the sales will go on a little bit, but the sizes sell out and the good colors and stuff like that. So that's something to think about. Everything went well yesterday as far as having my family over to eat first time in our new house. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like some notes that have helped me, things I have learned through past bad experiences over the years, and then things that, you know, good things and bad things and things to help you with having family and having dinner parties and stuff. So I think I'm gonna save that for a separate video. I missed Wednesday because I was getting ready and everything and I figured I just needed I didn't want to be like grouchy and on the edge. So I took that day off to kind of like prepare a little bit more and I really needed it. It was great. That was one of my best decisions. So today I am going to show you some really good stuff as usual. And I have many more things being delivered today because I have already been taking advantage of many of the sales. So we're gonna go through the things that I want to show you today and then look for me back here. It's gonna be a Friday, Black Friday haul weekend because I have so many things and I don't want to just like rush through everything. I want to show you everything. So the first thing I want to show you is my new pillowcase on my Sleep and Glow pillow. They've now got some different pillowcases. Like before, you just got the one that came with it and that was it. Well, now they have some new silk pillowcases and they have given me a 15% off code, which is a Black Friday special. If you do not have this pillow, I don't even really know like how to express it enough how much I love this pillow. It is one of my all time favorite things. And you can almost say life changing is a big a tall order, a big thing to say about something, but this has almost been life-changing to me. It is just, I sleep with it with the fat end down, and it's just everything about it. The, the position of my neck is perfect. I love like sleeping over here. You can sleep in this little area right here, and it keeps your face from getting squished and smushed together and the wrinkles. Not only is that good for not, for preventing wrinkles, it's good for not waking up with your face all creased up. And the biggest thing I can say is I feel like I sleep better. I feel like I can breathe better with this pillow just because it's not smushed up around my face. And don't think that it's not soft. Just because it's like a foamy pillow, it's very soft. I can sleep on my stomach, which I'm a big, I wouldn't say that I sleep through the night. Okay, this is what I do. I start out kind of, I think this way, and then I turn over and I like to put my arms up and sleep. And then I think when I turn that way, that's usually the end, my night night time. But a lot of times too, I like to sleep with my arms kind of tucked up under me. And this is like the perfect height for my head. It's just fabulous. So gift yourself or gift someone you love this pillow. John also has one. He likes it for his neck. Anytime his neck is bothering him, that's when he especially loves his pillow. It's just been wonderful. And if you have gotten this pillow, leave a comment down below and tell us what you think. I just, I can't imagine you not liking it, but I do know pillows are a personal thing, but I have never loved a pillow like I love this one. So thank you to Sleep and Glow for sponsoring this little part of the video and giving us the 15% off code. They also sent me some of their scrunchies. I've already used one. Now, I don't use scrunchies like this when I go to sleep. You'll see in my hair video because I don't want to interrupt my curl, but these are the kind that I use when I'm just like around the house or when I style my hair. I don't use those coily ones if I want any kind of style. And they also sent me their sleep mask, which is beautiful and soft and padded, has the adjustable part on the back. So thank you to Sleep and Glow for all of those goodies. This sitting here speaking of hair, and I am so happy, I just have to stop and say this. When I got up this morning, it was pouring down rain and dark 
and gloomy. The sun has come out. It is just sparkling everywhere. So I'm so thankful that it's sunny now. This is what I used in my hair video and I will post that video down below. This hair, I went and got a blowout from Morgan just because I can curl my hair, I can do this, I can do that, but it's hard for me to get a good, sleek blowout that's not too straight. This is what I use. This is my new favorite heat protectant, and I feel like it has a little bit of hold in it. It says Protect Heat Control Iron Hairspray. So I think it might have the slightest bit of hold because I don't use hairspray, and I just feel like Ever since I've been using it, I've been loving my hair and I haven't noticed a bunch of damage. So I ordered this from Amazon and I love it. Bubba has decided to join us today. Let me see if I can bring you guys. Let's see. Here he is. Bubba, you taking a little nap? <laughs> oh no, he's taking a bath. Huh? So the next things I want to show you are my new Jenny Bird pieces. She also has been very generous and made a favorites page for me and for us and a special 20% off code that I will put right here that you can use through this weekend, I believe until Monday. I'll put the exact dates down below. And what she had me do is choose some of my favorite products and some of them are new, like this cushion collection and the Tony ribbed, which I've always loved the Tony collection, but this is kind of like a new spin on it. And she's also got many things like the Vera chain with the heart that is on sale. So the code, our code works on my page and anything that is not already on the Black Friday sale. But I think you guys are going to love these pieces. And I have a special place in my heart for Jenny and her jewelry because we have been together for a long time. She is the one who has made my Hear Me Roar ring, which is probably one of my all-time all-time favorite pieces of jewelry. Today, I have on the cushion collection. When they asked me what were some of my favorite pieces, I said by far her bangles. They are comfortable and they're just exceptional. They're just so pretty, so easy to put on. You just click that little bar and it opens to, to take off and then to put on. That is important to me. If I have a hard time getting something on or off, I don't wear it. I find myself not wearing it. So love all of her bangles, but this one I think is especially pretty. None of her, I don't think I've had one piece of her jewelry tarnish or fade or get scratched up. It always looks so good for years. And then let's see, the earrings, these go with it. Aren't they beautiful? Oh my goodness, Hers, I wanted to show it to you. Hers have the best backs, like it's so easy to put on and take off. You just slip it on your ear, find your earring hole, and then it just snaps. I think those are so pretty. They give a lot of look and they're not heavy and they're not too big. And then, okay, then I'm not sure of the names of these chains. I will put everything down below, but the one I really love, I love the initial, the gold initial, and it is adjustable. You can adjust it a little bit shorter than this, I think. Let me see. No, I think I put it on the shorter one. You can make it a little bit longer. Yeah, because I remember when I was playing with them, but this one, look at the like sparkle that that one gives, or it just shows just the shine. And so I put them all three together. Yesterday for Thanksgiving, I wore this collection. So this is the Tony ribbed, and I just love that extra detail. Like I said, easy to put on, take off, and look at these earrings. They are so pretty. I'll put a picture in here because I took pictures yesterday of the table and everything. Let's see. So this back just comes like that. Put it in, snap it like that, and then look at this chain that goes with it. Just beautiful. And this one was really easy to put on too. Let me see. Yeah, it has that big class, but it's still, her jewelry is, it's got like that little bit of an edge to it, but in a polished kind of glam way. And I love that. I feel like that is my style. I like to have a little bit of edge, but I want it to still be quality and nice. And that is how this is. So thank you so much to Jenny for extending this to us. I believe I've done this one other time and you guys loved it. And don't forget, even if you don't see something on my 
favorites page. She has a lot of things on sale that I think you guys would like. So I'll be right back with some shoes and some clothes. Okay, these were inspired by my mom. She ordered some of these and she loves them. They're just the Uggs like I like. And I have had, you guys know how many Uggs. You know what? I have to complain about something. I, you guys know I just got these. I mean, what, a month ago? I have not worn them to get a pedicure. What is up? I don't know what's going on. Have any of you had that happen to yours? I've been very disappointed because these are like my go-to shoes and I don't like that that's happened. That has never happened to me in a regular pair of my Uggs. They never like rub off like that. So I'm not sure what it is, but anyway, you guys know I've had many pairs of Uggs. I have always gone back to, I love my chestnut short. I love these. These are probably my favorites, but my mom tried these and she said she really liked them. I just got these day before yesterday, so I have not worn them. She said the only thing is you have to, at first, until you get them kind of broken in and used to them, if you have a high instep, it may be like uncomfortable or whatever to get in there. Let me try right now and see if I have any problem. You don't have, I see right off the bat, you don't have the back of the, normally I could tell when I put them on, normally what I do is I slip my foot in and I pull the back up, but I, it wasn't hard. <laughs> I thought these would be cute. Even if you don't like the way they look with things, I thought they would be cute or nice around the house, but I think they will look good with black leggings or sweatpants or something like that. So I'm just giving them a try, seeing how I like them, and I will report back, but I think they're cool. Uggs and Crocs. I know people, and what, Birkenstocks too. I don't know if I've ever had a pair of Birkenstocks, but I have thought about getting the Shearling Birkenstocks. If you have those, let me know how you feel about them. And, because I love the furry shoes. What I was gonna say is they may not be the best to look at, but they're so comfortable and so practical, I think they just hang in there for the test of time. I got another pair of my Barefoot Dream socks every night. This is kind of like the Sleep and Glow pillow. I don't want any other pair of socks to sleep in or to wear around the house. I don't know what it is. I have tried the Ugg socks. I have tried many other fuzzy gold toe, um, the Nordstrom brand. Trying to think of all the um, deer foam, all of those. I don't like socks that have uh, grippy on them. To me, that's just not my thing, especially because I, I sleep in them sometimes. Most of the time I go to bed in them and then I take them off. But sometimes I wake up and I'm surprised I slept in my socks. But normally what I do is I take them off right before I'm going to sleep. And then in the morning, when after I get up, I put them back on. This would be such a great gift like this, because they're, I think they're about $18, especially like for a secret Santa or something, this and uh, something cool, some other little thing like that, like a lip gloss or a pair of earrings or something, I just think would be a great gift. And I love these. I have these and the creamy ivory ones. And this is probably, this is something I ordered after I saw, this is another fashion girl that you guys would like. She's much younger, I think she's 30. And Ashley Brooke, I think that's her name. And I like to watch her too. She's got good taste. She is very young and thin. So a lot of the things that she likes don't work for me, but I enjoy her personality. Um, she got a new house. I enjoy seeing her home. And I like that she gets nice things. She does good Zara hauls. She gets nice things, but she, I love the way she puts things together. It's not just what it's like I like to do, like where you put different things together and she might wear like a, a head turban or something and she's not scared. She just enjoys fashion. She's not worried so much about what other people think and I love that. I admire that about her. Well, the other day, I don't even know, I guess I don't even scroll through Instagram a lot because usually if I get on Instagram, I'm answering questions and comments, but I saw her picture and I was like, oh my God. That is such a me outfit. She had on a pair of sweatpants, like a slim sweatpant, not a big boyfriend sweatpant, a long blazer, and a little pair of black boots. And that, that was just like, yes, that is such a good outfit. So the next day, 
I went to recreate that outfit and the only little boots I had were my new Ariat boots. And because they're not solid black and because they are so Western, you know, the toe kind of cups up and everything, it just, it wasn't the same look. So I remembered a pair of Fry boots that I had been looking at that I really liked. And I was, when I looked at them, I thought, no, I don't know if the toe is pointed enough. Well, that was in a different, that was when I was looking for a different look, but for this look, they're perfect. And so I just got them, I actually got them yesterday because I ordered them off of Amazon. So I can't wait to show you, hold on. So here they are. And I think so many of you are gonna like these. They are so, what is it about fry boots? Fry boots are just good. I don't know, it's just like they're made well. You can wear them as rain boots. My old harness boots that I still have, I will never get rid of those boots because I love them. They, they're indestructible. I wore them to New York in the snow with like double socks under them. I had planned on just like wearing them there and not wearing them again. I had this like sex in the city vision in my head. It was my first time to New York. Well, that didn't happen. I think I wore those boots every day and they were just, they're indestructible. But these have the harness and they're not, they're pointed, but not crazy pointed. So they don't lock you into a certain look and they just look so good. So here I'll try them. Well, I can't try them on with what I've got on because you won't see them. Trust me, they are fabulous. Maybe I'll wear them tomorrow. I've got the perfect pair of sweatpants that I bought a while ago. They're champion and they're kind of slim like that, but I am going to maybe go to Dick's or something and try to find us another pair that are slim like that because I just enjoy those so much. Every time, they're the ones that I used to wear with wedges. So I've always loved, to me, that's the best thing about fashion is when you, you wear something unexpected and you, even if it's something that you realize, you know, like when you see someone in a certain hat or a certain pair of boots, I think it's such a cool thing that they know it might be odd or attention getting and they love it that, that much anyway. They're not afraid. They're not, they don't mind that you might look at them. And I love that, I admire that in people. And so I think that these will look so good. They will look good with jeans too. They'll look good with leggings and you know, everything. So I really, really, really want you to get these. I think that you will like them. And you know what? These have a rubbery bottom. So they're not gonna be that slippy slidey. Feeling. We just lost a lot of the sun. I think I'm gonna scoot back to show you some of this stuff. I placed an order with Mango. Mango is one of those places I can I will check on the website and I will either see um, just 20 things I want or I will check on the website and I don't see one thing. So lately when I've been looking, I haven't really seen anything that I liked. But the last time that I looked, I got a lot of good stuff. I feel like who is Mango affiliated with? I can't remember, but I feel like the quality is a notch above Zara. I dare to say that. I really do. When I put everything on, especially this haul. So the first thing I got is this sweater, just a big gray, chunky knit sweater that will look good with so many things. It's wool, made in Turkey. I think a lot of the things that I got are wool blend. I think they just came out. I can't believe how cold it got here this week. We had lows, I think one night we had low 28 at night. So I think this part of my haul is kind of inspired by it getting so cold. And let's see, I got the small. It does not give the price, but I will put everything down below. This is a perfect sweater, a go-to. Like this is something you would take with you when you go out of town because it's gonna go with jeans, leggings. You could put it over a slip dress. You could put it with a slip skirt. You could put it with your wide leg jeans. You could put it with a pair of sweatpants and it's gonna be fine. It's just one of those things that goes with everything, kind of like a moto jacket. I mean, a moto jacket goes with everything. I know I just have talked about this so much and you're tired of hearing about it, but the Honey Love, they are having a sale too. Now that I wear these, this is kind of like the bodysuit. Normally when I do the try on hauls with you guys, I have the tank one on. Well, this is the same tank, it, not a bodysuit, but with the cami straps. These make everything better. Like 
I'm not even worried about this itching me or what I'm gonna wear under it because I know I always kind of start off with these. I really think that you guys would like these and you need to try them. So first thing is the sweater. The pants I love, but I'm going to, today, I'm going to take them to the dry cleaners and have them altered because I love them that much. A lot of times, if something is too long for me, I will either return it, give it away, or let it hang in my closet, waiting for the perfect pair of shoes. But I tried on the boots that I got to wear with it, and they're still too long, but I am going to go get them altered. Let me go ahead and show you the boots so I can put those on. These are very similar to my rag and bone boots, but they are a little bit more exaggerated. See how the toe is still kind of square, but it goes out a little bit more and they just give such a stylish look to whatever you're wearing. When I was looking through the website, the first time I saw these, I thought, no, you don't need those. But I kept seeing them over and over again, like when they would use them with different outfits. So I went ahead and got them. These are similar and the prices were good on these because they're leather. These are that similar look with that, not quite, I can't tell what you guys can see, not quite as an exaggerated toe, but still that pretty, you know, squared off toe. And then the detail right in here. Oh my gosh, it's just so pretty. So I grabbed these and then let me stand up. Let me put my boots on first and then I'll stand up. Okay, so these pants, oh my gosh, they are wool and I already took the tags off downstairs. I don't know the exact like ratio of wool or anything else, but they are, oh, my, everything has shed on me that I've been showing you, but they feel so good. And I feel like, oh, let me just take this off. I feel like they fit me better than most dress pants. They just come up to a good spot on me. The pockets aren't pulling, but yet they're fitted. And but I need probably, I think I'm gonna have them just take off the length of the hem. And I think they'll be perfect. I just think they're so pretty. Just the, um, it's not very often that a pair of pants like fit this good in the waist and then still fit this good the whole way down. So loving these, it's blazer. It's just a must have. I'm gonna show you an expensive blazer that I've always wanted that I just ordered that this is just as good or better. I love the, this is wool also. So this is more than just a, slip on cheap blazer. It is a nice, just look at the shoulder pads and then the one button like right here and the way it kicks back out. To me, it is just so pretty. Pockets, when I put it on, I was just like, yes. I mean, this is just a fabulous blazer. This with anything, any dress, pair of jeans, white t-shirt over a slip dress with your leggings because it's going to cover. I mean, just a must have. Let me tell you what size I got because it's the, I think the UK sizing. Nope, this is a small. Made in Morocco. I mean, even look at the inside. It's so pretty. Let me see what it's made of. 60% viscose and 40% wool. So that's a nice blend because it won't be too hot, but just a really nice jacket. Okay, now, since I already mentioned it, let me show you the other one that I got. This, I have always loved the Balmain blazer, but now the longer blazers are more in style, kind of like the one with the print that I showed you. So I ordered the plain black in the boyfriend style of Balmain blazer. I found this place online where it was less expensive, quite a bit less expensive than it would be than I paid for my other one for sure. And it's kind of a place like Farfetch. I think it's called Baltini. And what they do is they source different high-end brands from Italy and then I had it shipped here, it was DHL, and it's everything. Your extra buttons, 
everything. Everything just came with, and this is kind of like, it's not a security tag, that's what I thought of, but it's one of those things you can't return it if it doesn't have this on it. And, oh my goodness. So this is the bigger, like double-breasted, like the boyfriend, it's a boyfriend style. So it's very different than that one, but equally fabulous. This is more of that oversized look, but honestly, this one thrilled me more than this one. I mean, this one is just that boyfriend look, oversized, it's just a nice, I do, I do love this. And I was looking at and other stories today and they have a good one that is kind of like a dupe for this. But this, this is fabulous, but that I think is a better, Better bang for your buck. Okay. Continuing with my mango haul, I bought this little turtleneck. I don't know if I would have bought this had I already tried on the one from Amazon because that one, oh, it was so good. I washed it, dried it. It said to hand wash and I just wasn't gonna hand wash that. It came out perfect. It hangs nice. I love it. So. This I still do like because it's got the ribbing. I'm not gonna send it back or anything, but that other one from Amazon was pretty great. And then I got these little pants also. They have like a little kick. What are they called? Um, called kick something. So let me try these on for you because I can't wear these today anyway because they're too long. So let me try them. You guys, these are too small, I think. I don't know. You guys know I like everything oversized, but I feel like they're too small. Yep. Oh, I'm not used to that happening, but the sizing is different for me. Yeah, these are too small. I hate sending stuff back, you guys. I hate it. Luckily, John helps me. What I My part is doing all the paperwork, and then he'll package it back up and usually ship it out. We just... um. What was the last thing I had to send back? Oh, all of that anthropology, which I will say they did a quick return. And, oh, I've been on a handbag thing, you guys. And I got one the other day and it did, I told John not to even finish opening. I didn't like it, so we're sending that back too. And I've got a new handbag here, but I'm gonna save that because I was supposed to have another one and I wanna do just a complete handbag haul. I don't know if I'm gonna keep all of them, but there were like four on my mind. I cannot see them here in town. I'm not going out of town, so I wanted to get them, see them, feel them, and look at the size, and then what I don't like, I'll send back. So look forward to that maybe tomorrow. I'll, maybe I'll get to do the handbag haul. But anyway, these are gonna go back. Oh, I'm bummed about that because I was gonna wear these today. Let me, well, you've already seen my jewelry. Let me see if there's anything else I want to show you. I don't think so. Nail polish is such a good one. It's Chanel Pirate, one of my all-time favorite reds. I took it with me the other day. They're already chipped because my hands have been in the water. I don't think I've washed that many pans and dishes in a couple of years. And thank you guys so much for being here with me. I am so thankful for you. I really am. You guys are my friends. You're who I think about. You're, you make everything better. Thank you for being here and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.